ago that many of you promised yourselves a healthy start for 2008. And today I'm going to give you a second chance to keep those resolutions with the hottest diets and best workouts for the new year. This is Nicolette. And um, I know that you set a resolution and it's already gone. Yes, every year it's the same thing. I set a resolution to lose a set amount of weight and I just get discouraged and I quit. And, and it's been what, so how, many much, years. how many pounds did you set to lose this year? 80. 80 pounds. 80. And how many days did you uh, stick to the plan? A month. <laughs> a month? A month. Okay. And then I get discouraged just like every time. I've, I've tried every diet out there. There's the green tea diet, the soup diet. I tried a tuna fish diet. What was that? Eating tuna fish all day? Yes, tuna fish for dinner every day. And it just didn't work. I've tried all kinds of Mayonnaise pills. in it or anything? Just tuna? No, the mustard. Just mustard. <laughs> okay. Nasty. And how, how, do you, how do you feel now with your, with your body? I'm very uncomfortable. I'm even uncomfortable around my husband. I, he doesn't have a problem with me. I have a problem with mm -hmm. me. And it just makes it so that I end up pushing him away without even trying. I don't like being in a bathing suit. I won't go swimming at parties. It's just very depressing. I hate the way I look. Wow, and then it, it upsets your husband, too, because he loves his wife. He wants to love you in many different ways. Absolutely. And you are just pushing him away. Yes, okay. I'm trying away. Well, we've got someone here to help Nicolette out. Please welcome Dr. Tom Kirsting, author of Losing Weight and Diet. Hi. All right. Okay, Dr. Thank you, Tom. everybody. Glad to be here. So, Dr. Tom, you've been working with Nicolette backstage. Okay, so let's see how she reacts to some foods. Well, here I have a lovely cheesecake, okay, that Nicolette... It used to be one of her favorites. And basically, let's just watch what happens when we try to give her a bite of this. And this is very real stuff. This is not an act or anything. This is her natural response to the cheesecake now. You are, how do you feel? I, I, don't, I can't even look at it. I don't want it. I just can't. I mean, I started getting nauseous as soon as you pulled that off. Right. Really? And the, the interesting thing is, basically, what, what I do and what my book, Losing Weight When Diets Fail, teaches the reader is how to reprogram their mind subconsciously. So that really is gross to you. I saw you kind of like wincing, and I didn't know why you were wincing when he lifted that uh, I napkin. I couldn't even look over at it. And I was you, like, oh. It just makes my stomach start to turn. I feel like I need to burp. I'm like, ooh. Oh. You feel like you have to burp? Yes. It makes oh my me God. nauseous. Like. So how do you get her from loving cheesecake to hating cheesecake? But well, basically what I did is before we did the session backstage, I asked Nicolette to tell me like something that actually that absolutely makes her stomach turn. And she told me that her daily vitamin, vitamin. which I'm glad she takes, by the way, it's very healthy. Uh, when she takes that, the taste that it creates in her mouth makes her gag. So knowing that, after I had her in that hypnotic state, in, in that trance state, I connected that. I said to her, okay, I want you to imagine that you're chewing on that daily vitamin right now and taste everything that you can uh, and feel it. And you really will when you're in that state. And then I, I connected the cheesecake to that. And I said, okay, anytime you see cheesecake, that taste is going gonna, is gonna to enter your, your taste buds. And that's exactly what you're going to experience. How long will it last, her hate of cheesecake? Basically, the, the book that I wrote, Losing Weight When Diets Fail, there's, it comes with a CD. And when she listens to the CD and continues to reprogram her mind, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay there for as long as she continues to apply mental techniques. So do you keep doing all the foods? Can I do like some Cheetos and some ribs? It's, it's all, and it's, and it's, it's very generalized also. It could be for anything. Um, and it's not so much only about avoiding the foods you don't like. It's also about incorporating this the is what I do like. foods that you do like. Okay, can you give us a demonstration of what you did? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Basically, yeah. All right, here's what I did. I just had her close her eyes, uh -huh. all right? And what I did is in, in the room backstage, I, I began by talking very slowly to her. I had her focus on breathing deeply. You could start doing that right now. And by breathing deeply, after a couple of minutes, your brainwave activity reduces. That dr drifting subconscious mind be becomes open and available. And at that point, after you know, several minutes, her mind is ready to absorb new stimuli, new images. And you guys also tackled another weight loss obstacle. That's right. What's that? Uh, another piece, another important component is everybody knows exercise. You know, Jorge Cruz was here a little while ago giving a demonstration. Exercise, in my opinion, is probably more important than anything. Um, and what do people think about? It's the new year. We have so many people with the New Year's resolution. What's, what are they thinking when the alarm goes off in the morning? They're thinking, let me roll over in the bed. But yes. she has a new response that I'd like to show you guys. And this is very real. Keep, you know, pay attention to her. We programmed this into her mind backstage. When she hears this sound, <laughs> it, re it literally, she is, it, pay attention, if you could feel how she feels right now, the way she is feeling, she's feeling very excited right now. And imagine replacing, right, <laughs> this is her new alarm clock, her cell phone. This so what that does that mean? Excitement means what? Basically, when she hears that sound, there's a cue in her mind. When she, it's 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, 
The moment she hears that, instead of thinking pillow, <laughs> there it is again. Instead of thinking pillow, I'm gonna roll over, I'm not gonna exercise, she's thinking I am gonna leap out of bed and I'm gonna start yeah. exercising. Tell us I'm what ready. you're thinking. I'm ready to jump. I'm like, okay, I, I What do you go. wanna do? Do it. Come on, what do you what do you wanna do? Do I, it I again. Don't know Push yet. it. I don't know. <laughs> Push it. <laughs> Come on, what do you want to do? I just want to Let's go. Start some jump I want to go at it. Let's, Let's go. Let's jump. Yeah, you get, I mean, ready the thing to is. go. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm getting there. You just have like an itch. <laughs> is it like an itch, like an anxiety, like? No, no, it's not a bad thing. Normally when I would hear my alarm, I'm just like, I jump because I, oh, I don't yes. want to hear it. Now, now it's positive. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready to get at She's it. She's excited and motivated. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And imagine that. Imagine hearing your alarm in the morning and jumping out of bed, because that's the stuff that will happen when you use these power programming techniques. Well, that's good, because I hit my snooze about six times this morning. I, I know. Most people do. Okay. Yeah, I really did. Ready to go. Okay, well, for more information on Dr. Tom Kirsting's techniques and his new book, Losing Weight When Diet Fails, check out our website, and we'll be right back. Do the, hit it again.